tax allowances, to invest in critical, give us the right environment so we invest for the future in the long term. Science and technology, um, some of the R&D spent, some of the cuts we've seen over the last 20 years are critical, and when we have the financial cuts which we know are coming around the corner, let's make sure we put competitive agriculture at the top of the list, and we don't actually say it's a nice to have as so often in the past, we cut R&D first. That is going to be a big key to us being able to compete in the long term. And I have to mention, we mustn't let the rest of the world see the march on some of the advantages in GM technology and put rules and regulations in place that looks like the EU and now going to allow a lot of national discretion on GM um, growth and licensing in the future. We mustn't make an e-jerk reaction now that stops us in 10 or 20 years' time having that potential tool facing us. Better supply chains, better return to the marketplace, really critical. Um, CAP reform that doesn't again shaft English farmers while the rest of Europe carry on doing things in the past. Continue a couple of support. Um, TV, making sure we have a viable livestock industry. There's a shed load of things. It's about making sure we can be competitive and make those right decisions. That's how we will produce more food. It's not about setting targets. It's not about saying we must produce 100% of our food because that means Stalinistic intervention in the marketplace. Help us be the best farmers in Europe and aspire to be, in certain areas, globally really competitive as well. All right. Thank you, um, Peter.